Hi there, it's Babs here from Yarn Academy and I just thought I would jump online because there have been a few people in the Yarn Academy group who've been asking about ways to connect and to communicate with people. How do we have, um, or how do we go about getting um, experts to come and talk to our Facebook groups was, was a question from Novella. We've had um, a couple of people say, but I'm really shy, I'm quiet, I don't like getting out and, and talking to people, so how can I actually work up the courage to go and speak to somebody at a, a local yarn show or um, or at a trade show? <laughs> and so for those people who um, are like me and are very shy and quiet and quite retiring in person then um, these are my quick tips for ways that you can go about building some relationships um, away from people before you then have to meet them face to face so that your, your nerves, fears aren't quite in the same place that they were. So firstly, um, this might be considered a bit of a cheat, but quite frankly, I don't care. Um, I get completely tongue-tied. I cannot speak, I cannot look at the person. If it's somebody that I really want to talk to or somebody that I am in awe of or somebody whose work I admire, then I will fall over my tongue, I will trip over myself, I will regress to becoming a 12-year-old and I will stutter and mumble and look a complete fool. Um, so these are the techniques and things that I do to try and give me... Um, the ability to be able to have a relationship and to speak with somebody uh, the next time I come to actually meet them face to face or pick up the phone. Um, and this isn't all about, oh, you need to believe in yourself and you need to have self-confidence. This is, as I say, kind of a cheat, but it's not really. Because people like me who get anxious and nervous and worried, we need to have space and we need to have time to consider what we're going to say and how we're going to say it. Not so much that we overthink and then never move forward, but I need to think about how I'm going to approach someone. I need to think about what I'm going to say to them as against... Um, my husband, for example, who can just, he can just be dropped in the middle of any group, in any gathering, and he will just be away. He'll know what to say, he'll know how to comport himself, and he'll be absolutely fine. Whereas me, I will just be a nightmare. So the very first thing I do is break this down into simple steps, as always, because I'm all about keeping it simple. So, uh, step number one is to... Find people that you want to connect with. Find people that you want to communicate with, you'd like to have a relationship with, business relationship. I'm not talking about this for personal relationships. That's a whole other, whole other aspect that I'm not even going to go near. Um, but if this is someone you'd like to develop a business relationship with or you admire them or you'd like to invite them to do um, a collaboration or an interview or something like that, then you need to get together a list of people. And don't just put a name down. Put down a name. Put down where you know them from um, and also why it is that you want to speak with them. So that is step one. Step number two is to then find a way of connecting with them. So if they post on Instagram, comment on Instagram. If they post in a Facebook group, comment on their posts in a Facebook group. So you're communicating with them. You're not talking to them in person. You're not picking up the phone and then stumbling over your words. You've got time to think about what you want to say and how you best want to put it. And with time that will become easier and the more you have a communication with this person then the more they will have a conversation going with you and that is that's the key that's the whole crux of this this method these these three steps is that you will just gradually build that relationship um so when you talk to someone if it's on instagram don't just go oh like heart done that's not building a relationship, that's clicking a button. What you need to do is look at what they're doing, look at their image, what are they trying to say, what is their comment, are they asking for feedback, are they asking a question, and then reply. Reply with something meaningful and sensible. So if they have posted up a picture of um, a beach scene using a bag that you saw recently, then make a comment about the fact that you've previously seen that bag and it's good to see them using it again or uh, give them a compliment or say that this is a gorgeous colourway or something something more meaningful than ooh pretty smiley face mm. uh, because that's 
just easy and meaningless whereas you want it to be easy and meaningful so that they'll start to remember you and they'll recognize your name and they'll start to reply back or you could ask them a question not instantly diving in and saying i want to work with you ooh, ooh, ooh. um because that's just just doesn't feel like you're building a relationship that feels like take 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 and what you want to do is gradually build a relationship um so so that is step step two which is find where you can communicate with them and start that communication and step three is to make sure you do this on a regular basis um that doesn't mean stalk somebody. It means that each month you have a list of people that you want to communicate at least once that month. So it could be you've got a list of five people, it could be a list of 20 people, but you will go through and you will check off those people that you have communicated with in that month. You've had a meaningful message, you've sent them something meaningful on Facebook, you've answered a question that they've asked, you have done something to build a relationship and you will keep doing that each month. So each month you'll have your list of people that you're interested in, in developing some form of relationship with and each month you will go through and you will make sure that you have contacted each of these people. Uh, it doesn't have to be a huge, great, big epic. It just has to be a touch point. In the same way when you are selling a product to a customer, then uh, you need to have multiple touch points before they start to, to like, know and trust you. And the same is true of any business contacts they need to know that you are not just there to take from them that you are there to give to them as well and that is how you build a relationship and if you've been doing this for a couple of months by the time you come to meet this person in person whether that's at a trade show or at a special event that's been organized or you're actually going to pick up the call pick up the phone and, and make a phone call to them to to ask them something um you have a foundation to build on so that it's not this big, fearful, black hole of terror that is suddenly in front of you um, for talking to a complete stranger because they won't be a stranger by this point. You will have had some back and forth. There should have been um, an element of, of conversation happening between the two of you. If there is no element of conversation, work on it a bit longer. Don't pick up the phone. Don't try and... and instigate a face-to-face -face, um, communication until you've had some form of back and forth uh, on another medium um, otherwise it really will just feel icky and that you're just trying to take 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 or oh look at me look at me look at me and and that's not the way you build a relationship in business so hopefully those three points have helped you and um and they will uh, will help you to to beat your demons and the fears that you have about speaking to people um, in public or face to face or picking up the phone and actually talking to them in person for the first time. So step one, find the people that you actually want to be involved with and you would like to um, to 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 speak to, and so you find out where they are, where they hang out, and why it is that you want to speak to them. Step two is to speak to them uh, using whatever format of communication electronically you have available to you, whether that is Facebook groups or Instagram, email. If you're on an email list for them, reply to them, hit the reply button. I'm always saying reply. I'm always telling you that I read everything and I do. If somebody takes the time to hit reply, that's great, especially if they've got something nice to say or they've got something meaningful to contribute to the discussion, then that is awesome. And they instantly, you know, they, they come to mind and you, you think of them when, when people are asking, oh, does somebody, is there somebody who'd be able to do this? Um, you know, I'm, I'm always looking for people that I can connect and put together. So if, if you reply, if you talk to me, if you get involved, then, then you'll be right up there in my memory so that I can start making those links happen. Um, and it's, I'm not the only person who's like this. Other people will be doing that as well. And then step three is make sure that you do this on a regular basis. Schedule your communications so that it definitely, definitely happens. It doesn't become a fear thing. It doesn't sort of not happen because you're too scared to talk to them. Ooh, what if they don't reply? Well, if they don't reply, they don't reply. Try again. It's, you know, they could be busy. It's not a big deal. They're not going to come after you with a hatchet. It's fine. Just keep trying to talk. The only time conversation is dead is when you stop trying to talk. So those are my three tips for beating your anxiety and building some relationships with complete strangers who you admire. 
so hopefully for the three of you that's stephanie novella and sarah those comments and suggestions will have really helped you and if that's the case please let me know um let me know who you reached out to and how that went and also um please like share comment subscribe all those wonderful things and i will see you next time bye for now